Jake, thanks a million for your time. Yeah. First up, when Antoine offered you the role and said, you're going to have to do this much work, did you know what you were getting yourself into? Uh, not necessarily, but I knew that I wanted to get into it. You know, I mean, I, I think a lot of times I have to say to myself, like, I'm, I want to go pretty far. Like, how far do you want to go? You know, and how far do you want me to go as a director? And oftentimes it's the people who are like, as far as you want to, as far as you can, and it, that I want to work with. And Antoine happens to be one of those people. I mean, when he, I didn't know how to box when we started. You know, I was really nervous, like, first couple times when Antoine would come and watch me when I knew nothing, um, particularly because he's a boxer, he's an avid boxing fan. You know, he had me training with the guys that he trains with. You know, initially it was really daunting, but I think that fear and that insecurity ended up driving me to learn um, and try and do everything I could to make it look as real as possible and to be as real as possible. Yeah. So I didn't really know what the journey would be, but um, I knew it was going to be an interesting one. Double challenge here because you have to learn to box and also the sheer amount of emotion of rage of loss. Mm that Billy goes through. Is it difficult, maybe not impossible, to put yourself in the boots of someone who loses everything? Usually the sports movies end up people losing a bit. Right. Billy Hope loses it all. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think ultimately he didn't really have anything except his love for his family, you know? And even that, in a way, Ironically, even though he didn't come from a family, uh, was the thing that is everything to him. So, you know, I, I'm interested in the story about essentially an orphan who orphans his daughter and then has to realize that everything that he fought for to make sure that that wouldn't happen to his own child does. And how do you overcome that idea? And how do you, over, how do you ultimately become a father and sort of recreate, or not even recreate, come to terms and with your past in order to be vulnerable for your child. And that idea was a beautiful one to me, you know? And yeah, I mean, I think he gets put through a lot of things, but ultimately that's secondary to the fact that, you know, he has to learn how to understand the way his child feels and thinks. And that's the thing he learns, I think, really from Forrest Whitaker's character, which is, you know, Stop thinking about yourself and how you feel and how, you know, whatever tragedy you've been through. Understand her and essentially, like, live for her and teach her how to become an adult like you weren't taught how to become one. And I think that's the reason why I made the movie and why I think it's different. But yes, he goes through, he goes through a lot. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah. You seem to be the kind of guy who loves a challenge in his work. Do you ever get worried? I mean, you play a lot of specialists. You play soldiers and boxers. Yeah. Do you ever worry that people are going to watch it and think, well, I was a boxer for a while, and the way he shifts his weight, oh, I don't know, he's going to lose absolutely. accuracy. Absolutely. I mean, you know, I think we went into this movie, and I definitely went into this movie, and I more and more do going, I, make, I made this movie for you know, the fight scene for the fight game. You know, I made this movie so that people could watch it and say, that looks like a real fight. You know, that, you know, he really moves like that. There's still times in the movie where I look at it and I go, ah, oh, damn, no. you know? And I think, you know, that's always my mentality. Like Antoine and I and, you know, Terry Claibon, my trainer, and we all, that was what we thought about all the time. And not just inside the ring, you know, you know, Miguel Cotto, for instance, is one of my favorite fighters. And, you know, he's very devoted to his family. And his story is a really moving story to me, along with a number of fighters that I, you know, was influenced by their life story or stole things from their life story or whatever for the movie. And um, my commitment to them, my commitment to what they do for real in the ring, um, I thought about all the time. You know, I don't, I have no interest in going to a fight and watching a guy take many, many hits, you know, affecting his physical well-being, his mental well-being, and then make a movie about it that, that tries to describe it in any other way besides sacrifice and brutal and really giving your heart. And I want real fighters to watch it and feel that way about it and say, oh, thank you, you know, like that feels real, you know. Um, you didn't fake it, 
you know, and, and we didn't. We tried not to as much as we could.